In order to get the most accurate weather forecasting and warning of severe weather events, there are spacecraft constantly monitoring our weather systems. We went to UMETSAT, Europe's meteorological satellite agency, to find out about two new satellite systems that will bring a new era in weather forecasting. In a world of volatile weather patterns and an ever-changing climate, lives and livelihoods depend on accurate weather forecasts. From its headquarters in Darmstadt, Germany, Europe's meteorological satellite agency, UMETSAT, is preparing to deploy the most innovative meteorological satellite systems ever developed. Ensuring forecasts are accurate is a monumental challenge. Satellite data is the key component required by meteorologists and making use of that very latest technology available is vital. UMITSAT will bring two new satellite systems in orbit. One is uh, the, the Polar Orbiter that will enhance already proven technology and help us to provide much better weather forecasts. And the geostationary satellite, the new Meteosat third generation, is especially for, for now casting and warning operations really a revolution. We will be able to cover the whole convection cycle from the very beginning when there's still blue sky until the major part of the thunderstorm when there's already the severe weather going on. This is the second generation satellite that UMETSAT is currently using to detect severe weather events. It is a one-to-one -one model and there are currently four of them in orbit. They collect images of Europe every five minutes and every 15 minutes of both Europe and Africa. But all that will change in 2023 when UMETSAT will deploy two new satellite systems bringing a new era in weather forecasting. It's really exciting to be working here. Uh, we're preparing for the next generation systems because we live in a world where the climate is changing and the weather patterns are changing together with it. And for these reasons, the need for more information about our planet is really acute. And the technology behind this instrument is so advanced. Uh, we have one instrument that is mounted on Meteos of third generation, which is a resolution of only one kilometer. So from 36,000 kilometers in space, it can take a, an image of only one kilometer. In practice, this means the satellite's instruments will be able to detect severe weather events such as storms far more accurately and more quickly than ever before. The third generation of Meteosat will give uh, an image of Europe and Africa in every 10 minutes. The previous generation was 50 minutes, the first generation before that was every 30 minutes. That means you have three times as much information, assuming that it's the same quality of data as you got from the beginning, but actually we're getting far more, one of these images is giving us far more information than before. At the same time, UMETSAT is preparing for the second generation of its polar orbiting system. The next generation on these satellites, which orbit much closer to Earth's surface, will provide more accurate, high-resolution data, as well as all new information on a global scale necessary for forecasting from 12 hours to 10 days in advance. Of course, such cutting-edge technology doesn't come cheap. It's a collaboration between 30 different member states. Individually, a program like EPS Second Generation, which costs about 3.5 billion euros to develop, would be almost impossible for most of these countries. But what we can do with UMITSAT is we can offer a mechanism for them to pool their resources, pool their expertise, to share in the costs of developing these systems. The EPS second generation system is expected to bring a 20 to 1 return on investment for UMETSAT's member states. Weather forecasting already contributes 61 billion euros a year to the EU's economy and the higher levels of accuracy made possible by UMETSAT's next generation systems will ensure that return grows.